Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. And so, recently, the GOP, the House GOP, has announced that there are 47 targets for the midterms, for the House. Well, I want to argue that there's more than that. I want to argue that there's 82 seats you can get. Yes, 82 seats. Now, I don't have names for these seats, obviously, because we don't know who's running and all that. Uh, there's some people that, uh, I can, you know, throw out there. Arizona's first. You might want to get, uh, Pinal County Sheriff Mark Lamb to run. I think that'd be very interesting. Um, California's 45th. Uh, there was a congressman, I think. You might want to have him run. There's just a bunch of seats. You go, uh, Arizona second, you get Martha McSally to end up running for that seat. You know, there are these, all these seats right here. You might want, like, Delaware at large. I think, uh, Lauren Witzke would be pretty... A pretty good choice for that seat. Um, Charlie Chris seat, absolutely get uh, get someone to try to take him out. If you know, I I was there. You can definitely find someone there. You know, you just go down this list. Um, uh, Connor Lamsey, you definitely get Sean Parnell. Wes uh, Wesley Hunt in Texas seventh, Oregon's fourth district. You definitely want to get good old. Um, Alex Scar Alex Scarlatos to go run in that seat again. You know, all these seats, you know, uh, you can't be picky when it comes to, uh, you know, flipping back the house. You know, if you target all 82 of these seats, you know, so you might be wasting money in some areas, you know. Um, you could definitely flip at least half of these seats, 100%, you know. You could definitely flip at least 41 seats on this list, definitely. And if you could flip Delaware at large, you know, that might be a big old blow to Joe Biden. Um, this is just something to think about. This entire list, you might want to say, okay, yeah, G Georgia 7th, definitely have that on the list. M uh, Maine 2nd, Jared Golden. It's going to be tough to get Golden out of there, uh, especially because he's liked in Maine. It's going to be tough, but Michigan's 8th, 100%. He can get Red Eagle to run, though I don't think he'll be old enough, so maybe not him, because he probably won't be old enough. Uh, though Michigan's 11th, I did hear that uh, John James could end up running in that seat. So he'd be a good choice there. Uh, North Carolina's first. Definitely you could flip that seat. It being the lone North Carolina seat I have on here. G.K. Butterfield. Though I like Butterfield, he's still a good choice. New Mexico's first district, Mark Ronchetti. You could definitely get him to run for this seat. Though you might have a better chance of him running for governor. Though I think he'd have a better shot winning a congressional seat than a statewide race at this point. Definitely New York's third. Tom C.O.Z., if you get that same Republican to run again, definitely think you could flip that seat. You know, all these seats right here, you know, Wisconsin's third is another seat I know Republicans are wanting. All these seats right here, you could flip them. Just spend time and money, and you also have to worry about your, uh, you know, your vulnerable Republican seats. You can't forget about them. So you've got 100 seats all together you're going to need to spend money on, roughly. These 82 seats plus whatever, um seats you need to defend and of course if you don't want if you don't want to spend money uh ohio's third is definitely a seat you can probably take money out of tim ryan's very popular washington's sixth in first district you can pull money out of there definitely oregon's fifth you can pull money out of there if you need to um kathleen rice's seat new york's fourth new york 17th new york 18th 18th or maybe not the 18th district but uh new hampshire's second you can pull money out of there if you need to uh, Nevada's third district. I definitely would focus on this seat. Get good old Dan Daniel Rodemir to run for the seat again. Definitely think he should be in Congress. Minnesota's third. You can pull money out of there if you need to. Michigan's ninth. Can pull money out of there, especially Michigan's fifth. Uh, the Maryland sixth seat. You can pull money out of there if you need to. Indiana's first. Pull money out of there. Illinois seventeenth. Pull money out of there. But these are the uh, eighty-two seats that I think the the GOP should go after in twenty twenty-two. Uh, sorry, it's not more in depth. I just don't have the time to do to make it more in depth. If you want a more in depth video of who I think should run in for each of these races, go down in the comment section below and uh, comment that. Also, episode two of the 2024 campaign trail is going to be happening very, very soon, probably within the next seven or eight videos, and that's not far. That's only about a week, hopefully. So, just go down in the description, fill it out. Who knows? Maybe your vote will count as hey, I changed it to change up the result. You never know; it might be important. So, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to go vote, the link will be down in the description below. This will be the Catacorn saying peace.